Perhaps all parents around the world expect their children to live in a clean and safe environment. Although hygienic practices are good for our health, living in an ultra-clean environment may cause some bad effects on children. Sometimes, being exposed to dirt in outdoor environments can help children develop both their physical and mental health. Why is that? Let's figure it out on today's video. It may sound surprising to you that overcleanliness is harmful to both the physical and mental health of kids. Maybe you often wash your child's hands with hand sanitizer or cleansing wipes for fear that hand soaps can't wipe out bad germs. However, the alcohol amount in some hand sanitizers varies from 60% to 90%, which is far higher than that in beer. 5 to 7 percent, wine 10 to 15 percent, and vodka 40 percent. Those huge alcohol levels aren't good for a baby's skin. In fact, kids may swallow sanitizer, which can cause alcohol poisoning. The use of some household detergents, like floor cleaner and germicide, can also negatively affect kids. Besides, because an ultra-clean environment makes children unable to attract good bacteria, children are probably at a higher risk of contracting some dangerous diseases. In general, there are about 100 trillion beneficial bacteria residing in our body, mainly in our gut. They help our bodies digest food, absorb nutrients, and they produce several vitamins in the intestinal tract, including folic acid, niacin, vitamins B6 and B12. So, good bacteria become a natural factor which protects us against diseases by producing acids, inhibiting dangerous viruses, and by stimulating the immune system to work more effectively. If parents overprotect their children, especially in the early years of life, children will lack good bacteria, and their immune system will have no chance to learn how to fight pathogens off as well. Therefore, the natural resistance of their body might get weaker and weaker. That's why overprotected children more frequently get asthma, allergies, diarrhea, eczema, and other illnesses. On the other hand, if parents are clean as a whistle, children's psychology will gradually be affected so they vaguely try to be as clean as their parents. This could trigger in them an obsessive-compulsive disorder. In other words, they're obsessed with cleanliness and order, which is a common disease these days. So, what should we do? Well, the best solution for all these matters is probably to let your kids get exposed to dirt and outdoor environments. Here's why. Let's look back at the relationship between beneficial bacteria and immune system we mentioned. Outdoor activities, including playing with dirt and soil, help children to get more good bacteria so that their immune system can work better. And the risk of developing allergies and asthma may be reduced. This has been shown in a recent study which compares two groups of kids. One group lived in a farm and the other group lived in the ultra-clean environment. The results showed that 7% of farm kids had asthma and 5% had allergies, whereas these rates in the other kids go up to 21% and 33% respectively. In addition, kids are also happier and healthier when playing outside. The regular exposure to vitamin D is also extremely useful. And there's no doubt at all that your children will be more confident and have better social skills like communicating, organizing, and teamworking skills. This is one of the key factors affecting the future success of children. However, it doesn't mean that the more kids experience dirty environments, the healthier they are. Some surface exposures like planting trees, playing with cats, or touching mud basically do no harm to kids. Garden dirt and soil have no dangerous microorganisms if there aren't any animals nearby. 
all parents need to do is make sure that their children don't eat dirt in large amounts, wash their hands after outdoor playtime, using toilets or sneezing, and before meals. Also, keep in mind that hand sanitizers with high percentage of alcohol shouldn't be used for kids. That said, parents should follow the targeted hygiene method, trying to clean things around your child only if it can kill infectious viruses. If not, let your child live in an environment which is well balanced between nature and proper cleanliness. This is the right way for children to grow up happily. We hope that you've realized that overprotection isn't good. Exposure to dirt and outdoor environments properly isn't as bad for kids as you may think. What about you? Do you allow your child to play outside very often?